Hey guys, Wes here. Um, I'm going to try and keep my um, video schedule a little more consistent. So I'm going to do a 20 gallon update for you guys. Um, so not a whole lot has changed. You might be able to tell that I took the tank background off. Um, I just um, always was surprised at how dirty my filter was when I would do water changes. So I took it off so I can actually see inside the filter like I was able to in the goldfish tank. Um, it's a lot easier to um, be able to tell when I need to clean the filter floss, so it's just a little a little bit easier for the maintenance. Um, all of, I think you guys might know this already, but all of the star grass died off, so that corner is just empty, and I'm not really going to do anything with it because I'm hopefully going to be um, moving these fish into a bigger tank in um, late winter, early spring of 2015. Um, the micro sword is doing um, not as well as it was. It's um, it's it's declining, but it hasn't. I don't know. I just um, I'm not sure why it's doing this because I've been dosing um, flourish every week and my lighting schedule is good and I've been doing water changes um, but it still has kept the few runners that it started with um, the crypt Wendity is doing great it's gotten a lot bigger on this side which is nice um, the crypt spiralis in the back um, it's, it looks the same as it did before I really wish it would get taller but it's just the highlighting that's um, kind of um, repelling it from the surface. Um, the pygmy chain sword back here is just like dying off. I, I tried to see what it would do if I left it but it's not doing very well. And last but not least the pinwheel sword. Um, it's not really doing bad it just hasn't really been growing large leaves but it has a lot of small ones as you can see. Um, now on to the fauna of this tank. Of course the big angelfish. He's been doing great. Um, no really signs of stress even though I did kind of um, um, skip a few water changes. But he's doing well. Um, all the rasporas are doing well. I still have all seven. I'm really, <clears throat> excuse me, really proud of myself because I think these seven fish are um, the fish that I've kept the longest out of any fish I've had. Um, the, where is he? I just saw him. There he is. The Cory down there. He has one other friend because one of the, um, excuse me, one of the other two Corys that I bought um, died and I'm not exactly sure why. I think the other one is back behind the crypt. but. One of them died, and I guess that's just kind of to be expected when you get new fish. There's always a gamble that they're not going to make it through the moving process. And then the Otto. He is right... <clears throat> excuse me, I don't, I'm not sure why my throat's getting all weird, but he's right there on the... I believe that's a Crips Peralis leaf. He, he's usually on a leaf like that, or... Um, on the driftwood. There's just not really a whole lot for him to clean up in this tank anymore. It's basically algae free. Now it's kind of been, you know, you have the nitrogen cycle and they say it takes a while for your tank to balance before the algae starts to go down. And I think my tank has just about gotten there. And then unfortunately I'm going to be um, tearing it down soon. But um, it's going to be really exciting when it does happen. Um, so. What I'm hoping to do is get a 55 gallon. Um, my parents suggested I use my empty 40 breeder instead of spending the extra money. Um, but the only reason I'm not considering using this is because um, one, the angelfish like height and moving him into a tank that is the same height as this um, sort of defeats the purpose. I know the water volume would really um, help because it is 25 gallons larger than this tank, but I really want room for him to grow because 
he's really going to be my centerpiece fish and I hope I have him for a long time. Um, so with the 55 gallon, I'm going to use this existing filter so I won't really even have to cycle it. Um, I'm going to use the other two aqua clears from the goldfish tank instead of um, an Eheim 2215 canister. I'm just going to use these um, aqua clear 50 since I already have them. I'm going to get some Eheim Yeager 150 watt heaters. I'm going to get two of those. Um, and I'm going to get the, well hopefully I say I'm going to get, but this is all still kind of up in the air. I'm hopefully going to get the Finex Fudre Planted Plus LED strip light, 48 inch. And I'm going to start with one, and if it's not enough I'll go two. Um, but I'm really excited about this um, new 55 because I'm going to dirt this tank, and, that, and it's going to be my first real experience with that. And hopefully I'll have a lot more success with plants besides crypts. Um, so I'm going to order some a little more rigorous plants. There's going to be a red plant that I'm going to hope to get. And some swords because they're uh, nice um, root feeders and the dirt's going to be really nice. Um, so I've been going off of um, Dustin's website. Dustin's... Um, forgot what his website is called, but he has the Dirted Tank Guide and everything, and one of his friends posted a forum on his website describing an easy way on how to start a Dirted Aquarium. So I'm going to follow that, and of course it's going to be the miracle Grow Organic Potting Soil, and I'm going to try and get some red clay, but all the red clay I've been looking at on Amazon has been selling out, and I'm not exactly sure why, but um, I'm going to try and get some red clay in there to put underneath um, with the dirt and then it's going to be capped with echo complete and hopefully the plants will grow really nicely in that dirt and then I'll, I already have a stand for it my dad has his old 55 gallon stand and then I might possibly build a canopy just to make it look really nice because it will be my my only tank besides my beta tank so I'm not gonna have three tanks anymore I'll just have the two so that's really exciting and I'm hoping I'll be able to go through with that um, plan and my stock for that tank will hopefully be the angelfish in here of course um, these seven harlequin rasporas um, th I'm thinking three more um, possibly like six more so it'll be like a school of ten or thirteen and then I'm thinking about like eight large bodied tetras possibly um, black skirts um, or maybe even diamond tetras because I know Dustin has those and I actually really like the look of those. And then these Corys, these two Corys will go in there with um, four other friends. Um, this auto I will probably stick in the beta tank for a while until some algae starts to grow but hopefully he'll make it until then. And then the main new fish I'm, I'm hoping to get is a pair of um, either cockatoo epistos or the um, agassizi because those are the two um, species that my LFS gets in the most often um, possibly Borelli I know my LFS has those sometimes but I think I'm going to try a pair of those um, not really for breeding purposes I will like give them a cave um, to kind of garden things you know because Epistos are cichlids and all cichlids are territorial. Um, but just so the male doesn't pick on the other fish, I want to give him a female. Um, I'm still debating whether to have a pair or a trio with one male and two females. Um, but I'll, I'm going to continue doing research on that and I will hopefully keep you guys posted. I know I've been kind of falling behind on my um, posting schedule. So that is that is it with this tank. Oh, one more thing. There is actually some moss on this driftwood, and that was from a while back when I got the Taiwan moss when it was like on sale on Planted Aquarium Central, and that is kind of starting to grow. Um, I don't think it's going to do as much as I thought it was going to, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this driftwood when I um, switch tanks, so I'm not sure what, what I'm going to do with that, but that was just the one little thing I almost forgot. Um, 
so yeah, I'm gonna thank you. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. As always, go ahead and leave leave a comment if you have any feedback or if you have any advice on pistols um, or dirted tanks. And uh, give this video a thumbs up as well. It's always appreciated. And go ahead and click that subscribe button. I love to see that number go up. And hopefully at 100 or a little past 100, I'm go going to be doing a um, surprise for all of you. So stay tuned for that. I will see you next time.